purple cauliflower. That's what we're going to work with today. I'm using this to make cast iron curried cauliflower. The purple cauliflower is probably something you've seen in the store but maybe you've never tried it. It's purple because it's loaded with antioxidants. The antioxidant is called anthocyanin and it's the same thing found in purple cabbage and also in red wine. So it gives you a little extra boost to your nutrients. I'm going to cut this in half because it's so huge. I don't need to use the whole thing for this recipe. Inside, you'll see that it's not all purple all the way through. That's interesting, isn't it? All right. Well, this recipe calls for some garlic, fresh of course, some shallots, and then we're going to season it with curry powder and some additional cumin, which is already in the curry powder, but we're going to up it on the cumin, and some paprika. And then we're going to mix that in with a little bit of heavy cream, and we're going to roast it in the oven in a cast iron pan. So to get started, I have the cast iron pan on the stove. I'm going to chop up the, um, the shallots and the garlic, and we're going to saute them in a little olive oil in the, in the pan to get started. Okay, we're heating up the oil and we're adding shallots, which is a powerhouse little onion, and some ground up garlic. A little bit of olive oil, just saute this a little bit, and then we're going to take this mixture and move it into some heavy cream. Alright, while this is sizzling here, we're going to add two teaspoons of curry powder. We're going to add one and a half more teaspoons of cumin. And we're going to add uh, also a teaspoon of paprika. Alright, let's stir that in. I'm going to take it off the heat and add it to the heavy cream. Wow, you can smell the spices on this one. Woo! Smells good. That's how we're going to get the curried cauliflower. Okay, it's nicely mixed. I'm going to move it over to the bowl of, and add the heavy cream. Okay, now we're going to add the heavy cream to the mixture. I transferred it into this bowl. Hey, wait a minute. Who threw a piece of beef jerky into my curry mixture? <laughs> Rick, who did this? It's a snack. It's a spicy snack. In case you get hungry while you're cooking. Uh, with ghost pepper? I don't think so. Oh, oh my gosh. No, it's Carolina Reaper. Oh, Carolina Reaper. I'm sorry. All right. Let's get back to this nice dish, okay? I'm going to start by adding a cup of heavy cream. All right. And then we're just going to whisk it in here. And what you want to do is just blend this enough that the spices spread throughout the heavy cream. Okay, see how that looks? Alright, now let's go over to the cauliflower and just chunk this up into florets real quick. Very easy. Some people don't like to cut up their own cauliflower. They buy it already cut in the store, but look how easy. All you have to do is cut off the flowers. And then as you see, how big they are, cut them down to bite-sized pieces. Right in between each of the little flowers. All right, we're gonna have mostly flat florets and not so much on the stems. But we want them to be where you can just pick them up with a fork. I think about half a head, since this was huge, it is going to be just right for that frying pan. In the meantime, I turned the oven on to 400 degrees, and it's preheating, getting ready for us. All right, the other half of this head we're going to use for another, another good recipe coming up, so come back and check that out in a little while. All right, now that we have the cream in this bowl, 
it's getting a little bit thicker. And so I'm going to add just a little more cream here to thin it out so we can coat all the cauliflower. All right, we're going to dip them in there. Just make sure that the cauliflower we have is coated nicely. And then turn it around a little bit. And then we're going to lay it into the cast iron pan. All right, now that the cauliflower is coated with the curry sauce, we're going to pour it into the frying pan. Now, I still use the frying pan that has the tidbits of garlic and shallots in here and a little bit of olive oil so that'll just carry all that flavor through make sure that you get a little bit of this coating on every piece and we're going to spread it out you can see the steam is still coming off of the frying pan here <laughs> it really holds the heat and then just curl these around a little bit until you make sure that all the flowers are covered with curry curry sauce. And this is really for a curry lover. All right, we're going to get all the nice sauce out of there. Let me just spread it out nicely. And we're going to bake this for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. When it's um, Fork tender, ready to eat. We'll take it out and see how it tastes. Doesn't that look nice? You kind of lose the purple a little bit, but it'll be pretty. It'll be pretty. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the oven. We'll be back in 20 minutes when I take it out. Comes out of the oven, sizzling. Check that out. Look at that. Now you do see the purple cauliflower through all that curry sauce. Nice. All right, I'm just going to let that cool for a few seconds. I'll put some on a plate and I'm going to taste it. All right, here we have the result. Nice purple cauliflower. It's nice and tender. You can stick a fork in it. And the curry sauce smells beautiful. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. That was delicious. You gotta make this recipe. <laughs> Try it. Try to find some purple cauliflower in your store and use this recipe. It's really good. Thanks for watching my videos.